Ladies, stop settling for men that don't take you out on nice dates. Bar dates are not a date. Netflix and chill is not a date. Ladies, I want you to understand that you deserve to go to really nice restaurants. You deserve to get dressed all pretty and have people complimenting you all night. You deserve to get gifts. You deserve to have fun. You want to know how I know that the femininity movement is working? Because it's receiving a lot of backlash. There will always be people who want to hold on to what they've always known. We've seen this all throughout history, you know. And I think the reason why the femininity movement in the black community gets a lot of hate is because for generations, black women have been seen as strong. That's all we know is to act masculine and to be, you know, to carry the world's weight on our shoulders. And so when black women start saying we don't want to do that anymore, it will trigger women who are so used to being that way. They've seen their mothers like that, their grandmothers like that. And that's their definition of black woman is to be strong. And I want to tie this into colorism in the black community because i've done three videos where i saw other girls do the same exact videos probably a little harsher than i did it actually and they didn't receive any backlash and i started to wonder why and i realized those girls were light-skinned and so it goes back to the idea that we see dark-skinned women especially in the black community as masculine so the people think oh she can take it not only do they expect me to be strong enough to take those bullets, they also have this idea of how dare you, you're dark skin. You should be at the bottom of the barrel. You should not want more for your life. And you certainly should not want to be feminine. And so I know I'm doing the right thing on my platform. I know that the femininity movement is here to stay. Black women are becoming softer and more feminine. says let's talk about it I know but I just need you to know that you're where you need to be I know you may not be where you want to be but you are where you need to be and I need you to keep going because you're going to get to that destination that God needs you. hey girl if you're watching this I want you to repeat after me I deserve love I deserve happy and healthy relationships I deserve a quality of life that does not come at the expense of sacrifice or trauma I deserve nice things it's okay if I have nice things. I deserve, period. For those of you that have followed me on this lifestyle content journey. Imagine the woman you want to be. What is her life like? Does she work for someone or does she run the show by herself? What are her bank accounts like? And what type of daily habits does she have? Visualize who you want to be and show up as her every damn day. Queens, I have a new motto. I am no longer attracted to men that put me in my masculine energy. By that, I mean men that make me have to reach out first, make decisions, have the date ideas, and etc. It is actually a man's job to lead a woman when he enters a situation with her and set the foundations of the relationship. So if you're the one who always has to reach out to a man or put in the most effort and he's just sitting back and letting you do that, that kind of shows that he's more most likely in his feminine energy or he has trauma that he needs to work through that makes him want to be chased or whatever the thing is. But we're no longer chasing broken people. A lot of us women get caught up in trying to fix a man instead of just finding a man that is already healed and has worked through all that stuff. We ain't doing that no more. Allow a man to find you and let you be in your feminine energy because it's cuter that way. <laughs> If you would decide today that nothing is more important than that you feel good and you would set forth a mantra that says not I'm going to find the best feeling thought I've ever thought and hold it that's not possible but as I'm moving through my day I'm gonna reach for the best feeling thoughts I can find as I move along that mantra the woman that you're becoming it'll cost you relationships people spaces material things but choose her over everything all you need to start doing is building your new life starting today and moving forward wipe the slate clean what kind of work do you want to be doing where do you want to be living who do you want to be you start really investing in yourself you start building get out of the ruins get out of the ruins of what's gone 
Here's to the woman she's going to be in 2022. May she be well dressed, glowing, succeeding, and happy. Here's to the woman. What makes you happy? <laughs> what makes me happy? The person I'm becoming. She's just the best. And I'm so proud of her. Three affirmations for black girls. Your skin is a beautiful shade of brown. Your hair with all of its kinks, coils, and curls, whether it's braided, straight, relaxed, or natural, in all of its glory, it is a beautiful crown. Your body is perfect. It is a work of art. Dear black girl, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. You are a gift. Do not ever let anyone tell you otherwise. Now go out there and shine. You need something to be excited about when you wake up in the morning and something that you're doing that has has a purpose and if you do something that you love and you have this amazing energy behind it it's like it makes life so much better and you can develop something and create a career for yourself out of something that you I think it's high time we let black women on this app also be famous for doing the bare minimum like I should be able to just sit here in silence and let y'all look at me and the next thing you know I have a million followers Say these affirmations and I promise you'll see a change in your finances. I am a money magnet. Money flows to me joyously and endlessly. Money is constantly circulating in my life and I use it wisely and constructively. 40s. I really need to understand that there is a lot of fear tactics that are used against black women. But it's been shown time and time again that there is no award at the end of struggle love. There is and never will be a reward for settling for less, maintaining a lifestyle of struggle, and being the strongest woman in the room. And that is a hard pill that a lot of black women will have to swallow because all it's really going to do is leave you exhausted at the expense of others. Black women, it's okay to be soft. It's okay to ask for more. It's okay to have standards. It's okay to have the literal audacity to go after whatever it is that you want and be completely selfish. It is absolutely fine to put yourself first and toss anything that tries to hint at knocking you off your pedestal. I hope this helps. Please repeat these affirmations with me. My confidence is restored. All of my desires are being fulfilled right now give freely and receive abundantly. I am the only one who dictates my peace. Day I choose harmony and happiness.